Hi, my name is Miss Carla and I'm a teacher at the Greater Valley YMCA. Today I'm going to read you a story called It Looked Like Spilt Milk by Charles Shaw. But I am not going to be using a book today. I am going to be using stick puppets to tell the story. So let's start the story. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk. But it wasn't spilt milk. What's this? Does anybody know what that is? It's white. Has a two ears, long ears, and a cotton tail. A fluffy little tail. Does anybody know? Sometimes it looked like a rabbit, but it wasn't a rabbit. Anybody know what this is? It has wings. It flies. It lives in a nest. Does anybody know? Sometimes it looked like a bird. But it wasn't a bird. Does anybody know what this is? It has roots. A trunk branches and green leaves at this time of year. Sometimes it looked like a tree, but it wasn't a tree. Ooh, I like eating these in the summer. Does anybody know what this might be? Any idea? Sometimes it looked like an ice cream cone, but it wasn't an ice cream cone. Does anybody know what this might be? Any idea? It has a stem, leaves, petals, and they can come in all different colors. Any ideas? Sometimes it looked like a flower, but it wasn't a flower. Anybody know what this is? It's an animal. It lives on a farm. And it goes oink, 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 oink. Any ideas? Sometimes it looked like a pig, but it wasn't a pig. Ooh, does anybody know what this is? You may have one this month, maybe next month, or the following month. You have icing on it, you put candles on it. Any idea what this might be? Sometimes it looked like a birthday cake, but it wasn't a birthday cake. Any idea what this animal might be? It's white. You can see these on the farm too sometimes. And it makes a sound and it goes bah, bah, bah. Any idea? Sometimes it looked like a sheep, but it wasn't a sheep. Any idea what this might be? It's an animal, comes out at night, sleeps during the day, and it makes a sound, goes, hoo, hoo, hoo. Any idea? Sometimes it looked like a great horned owl, but it wasn't a great horned owl. What does this look like? You wear it when it's cold outside, and you might wear it when you go play out in the snow to keep your hands warm. Any idea? Sometimes it looked like a mitten. But it wasn't a mitten. Ooh, what is this? It's an animal. 
goes and collects nuts, has a bushy tail, it scurries up trees and runs around on the ground. Any idea what this might be? Sometimes it looked like a squirrel, but it wasn't a squirrel. Any idea what this might be? Do you know? Looks like it has wings. It might be a look like a, a head. Any idea what this might be? Sometimes it looked like an angel, but it wasn't an angel. Does anybody remember what this is? Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. What do you think it might be? What do you think it might be? Do you know? Do you have an idea? Can we guess? It was just a cloud in the sky. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story that I just read to you. That was one way of reading a story. And you could also go out, or if you look online and see, and you can read the story from the book. And you can also take the idea from this book, and you can go outside with your parents and your brother or sister, put a blanket down on the ground, and then you can look up and at the sky and look at the clouds and see what kind of shapes you might be able to see in the clouds. There could be many different kinds of shapes that you see. You could possibly see the same shapes that were in the book, or you could prob probably see different kinds of shapes. You'll have to go outside and look at the clouds and see. Well, I hope you did enjoy this story, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.